What's up, guys? So, today, or tonight, whatever time it is for you, um, I'm going to show you the new redeck, the new deck I just built, literally just got done, um, putting it together. Um, I finished this literally two or three seconds before I started filming this video, so I wanted to get this out to see. Um, what you guys think about it um, now with a lot of my other um, deck profiles these this is gonna be classics so let's get right on into this video so first we got our side deck Got Gaia the Dragon, uh, Gaia the Dragon Champion. Attack two thousand six hundred, defense two thousand one hundred. It takes Gaia the Fierce Knight and Curse of Dragon. That looks pretty cool. And then we got. If you can see that name, but we got Burfamet, flying mythical creature. It's a beast fusion in effect, and the effect of this guy is it takes Gazelle, the mythical, the king of mythical beasts, and Burfamet, and it does. Hold on. When this card is destroyed, you can target one Burfamet, one Gazelle of the Mythical Beasts, or oh, or one Gazelle of Mythical Beasts in your graveyard. Special summon it. Summon that target. And that's that's the side deck. Hold on a minute. Okay. And then next, for the monsters, we have Black Luster Soldier. It's a warrior ritual. You can ritual summon this card with Black Luster Ritual. He's a, he has the attack of 3,000 and defense of 2,500. We've got Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. He is a beast monster and his attack is 15, 1,500 attack and 1,200 defense. Dark Blade. He is a warrior. He has 1,800 attack and 1,500 defense. Curse of Dragon. A wicked dragon that taps into dark forces to execute a powerful attack. His attack is 2,000, defense 1,500. Celtic Guardian. 1,000 attack, or 1,400 attack, 1,200 defense. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight. 2,300 attack, 2,100 defense. Elemental Hero, Elemental Hero Neos. A new elemental hero has arrived from Neo Space when he initiates a contract fusion with a Neo Spatian. His unknown powers are unleashed. Two thousand five hundred attack, two thousand defense. 
That's actually one of my favorite. Um, main protagonist. Main cards used by one of the protagonists. I think it was Jaden that used um, the Elemental Heroes. But, anyways. Millennium Shield. Warrior, a famous shield said to belong to an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. Legends tell of its power to block any strong attack. Attack 0. Defense 3000. And then we've got two Jack's Knights. Attack 1,900, defense 1,000. And then we've got, we've got two of them, so I'm going to put one of them over there. Um, Queen's Knight, 1,500 attack, 1,600 defense. A knight, this knight catches her opponents off guard, dominating them with swift yet graceful attacks King's Knight, got two of him now he's different, he's a warrior effect monster 1,600 atta attack, 1,400 defense and when this card is normal summon while you control Queen's Knight you can special summon one Jack's Knight from your deck I got two of them, and then I have three Silent Swordsman level threes, he's a warrior effect, attack 1000, defense 1000, negate your opponent's spell effects, that targets this card, during your standby phase you can send this face up card to the graveyard, special summon one Silent Swordsman level five. From your hand or deck, you cannot activate this card. The turn this card is summoned or flipped face up. I got three of him. And then, speaking of the devil, Silent Swordsman level 5. Warrior effect. 2,300 attack, 1,000 defense. This card is unaffected by your opponent's spell cards. Spell effects during your next standby phase after this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent opponent by a direct attack. You can send this face up card to the graveyard. Special summon one silent swordsman level seven from your hand or deck. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Silent swordsman level seven. Cannot be normal summoned, set. Must be special summoned by Silent Swordsman level 5 and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Negate all spell effects on the field. He is a 2800 attack, 1000 defense monster. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we've got three Karibos in here. Three hundred defense attack, two hundred defense. He's a fiend effect. During your opponent's turn, at damage calculation, you can discard this card. You take no battle damage from the bat from that battle. This is a quick effect. Which is pretty good. Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. He's a warrior type monster. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. Cannot be normal summoned, or send must be first special summoned from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard once per turn. You can activate one of these effects. 
Number one is target one monster on the field. Banish that target. Face up, this card cannot attack a turn you activate this effect. And then the second one is, if this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation, it can make a second attack in a row. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Double costing. Needs a zombie effect. 1,700 attack, 1,650 defense. This card can be, can be treated as two tributes for a tribute summon of a dark monster. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm actually thinking about taking these out and putting them in my other deck. And in that deck that I'm working on, this one, uh, when I finally get this one done, this is my um, Dark Magician deck. Um... And then we've got Burfamet, 1,400 attack, 1,800 defense. When this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, from your deck to your hand. Pretty good, pretty good. Big Shield Gardener, 100 attack, 2,600 defense. good and then that's it for the monsters <coughs> and then moving on to trap cards we've got magic cylinder chain destruction two spellbinding circles Wabaku, or Waboku, whatever you want to call it, Shift, Three Mirror Forces, Two Swords, Two multiplies. Two polymerizations. One brain control. Horn of the Unicorn. Spell Shattering Arrow. That's a good card. Detonate to go with the Multiply. Monster Reborn, of course. And you can't forget this bad boy. Black Luster Soldier. Or Black Luster Ritual. Used to summon Black Luster Soldier. There we go. Yeah, guys. So that is my um, deck profile. My Warrior deck profile. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I will be sure to bring you some more content. Later, guys.